Hey, what is up, guys? My name is The Marathon, and if you right now are hearing my voice, that means that my video has been uploaded to Maximum Skills channel, so I want to get out of the way and say a big thank you to Max, helping me grow some more exposure on my channel and a bigger audience to watch my videos. But before you click off this video, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be telling a pretty funny story coming up here in a couple minutes, so stay tuned, you will not want to miss it. But, I want to first introduce the gameplay, because, of course, if you're a gameplay commentator, you always gotta talk about the gameplay for a little bit. And this is a pretty entertaining gameplay, it's a lot different than what you're used to seeing on YouTube. It's 6v6 on slums with the chicken CQB. I get 161 kills, so pretty damn good. Now, here's the thing, you guys can call it... Not skillful, not good, not legit, whatever you want to because it's in multi-team hardpoint. And hardpoint, it's pretty easy to rack up your killstreaks because all you have to do is hop on the hardpoint, hop back off, hop back on, get some kills, hop back off, get some more kills. And it's a repeating pattern, never really ends. And um, it's pretty easy to gameplay is in. It is multi-team, so I'm playing 3v3v3, three teams of three if you didn't follow that. So it's my team of three, and then two other teams of three. So the most people that you can be killing at one time is six. So it's pretty challenging, and 161 kills is pretty darn good. So it's a good gameplay. So watch it in the background and enjoy while I get into the video. So my purpose today is to sell you guys to my channel. Make you want to come over to the Marathon YT and watch my videos and to the point where you hit that subscribe button. So one way I like to do that on my channel, I am a decent player. Like I said, I upload some above average gameplays. They're not out of this world, but I do commentaries behind Call of Duty gameplays. I upload some older Call of Duties. I have a couple really cool series going on. My channel has a lot of variety, but it's mostly Call of Duty gameplays and commentaries. I really like to focus on my commentaries. I think commentaries are extremely important when it comes to YouTube videos. One way I like to do that is sticking to topics or telling stories. Now, I really haven't told too many stories if I've even told one story on my channel. So, if any of my subscribers are watching this video, guys, I apologize. You're never going to have heard this story before, and I might retell it on my channel because it really is pretty funny. So, listen in and enjoy. So, I am a 15-year-old freshman in high school. Two years ago, that would put me in the 7th grade. Now, my school was a small private school, kindergarten through 8th grade, all in the same building. We had about 200 students. Very small, very close, compact school. And uh, there was a girl, she was in 8th grade. I'm in 7th grade, she was in 8th grade, and I didn't know who she was. I think she just transferred over that year, and she was uh, she was pretty good looking, obviously. I thought so. I thought she was pretty hot to date her at the time. And I was at the school carnival, and I saw her for the first time. And I decided that I would talk to her a bit, get to know her, and after I got to know her, uh, we became pretty good friends to the point where we started dating, and it, she, she was nice, she was really good looking, not gonna lie, a uh, nice little figure to her, but the thing about her was, her family was psychotic, her mom and her dad were off the wall, psychotic her sister was a total witch she was smaller and she, uh, she got into a lot of drama herself so that was kind of sucky at times uh it was a rough year it was a rough year she kind of played i don't know if you say played me i kind of knew what was going on the whole time but there's another guy that i'm actually really good friends with now that she kind of played and uh they were really good friends for a long time and then she started dating me so he got really pissed off at me and we got into a fight and all kinds of fun stuff. I knocked the shit out of him. Don't even worry. But uh, he was a pretty skinny. He's pretty tall, but he's also really skinny and really weak. But um, anyways, so he was back then at least. He's stronger now, but that's not the point of the story. So we were dating. So give me credit. I was dating a girl older. I know. So impressive marathon. Um, But um, for the first couple months, now we dated for a long time. It was like nine months and we dated for a long time. I don't know. We just went really well together. We both loved sports loved hanging out together uh, we were a pretty good couple to be honest the only thing that really held our relationship back like i said was her parents which they were just they're divorced now piece of work i could oh boy that was just oh boy so um they didn't have a ton of money so but their house was really small but uh, she lived in a really nice neighborhood one of the nicer neighborhoods in fort wayne well she didn't live in the nicer neighborhood her neighborhood connected to that nicer neighborhood and it's one of those neighborhoods where there's a bunch of parks and ponds and you can walk through and sit on benches and 
blah, 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 blah. So my point is, every time I went over to her house, we would get out of the house because our parents were crazy, and we would go on walks, and we'd walk about a mile to this tree right next to a pond. It was pretty hidden, and we'd go there and under the tree and do whatever uh, <laughs> whatever we wanted to do and just talk and have a good time, but we never really did anything seriously when it comes to, like, sexual things, because I was in 7th grade, and she was in 8th grade, so, um, we were a little young at the time, in my opinion, uh, you guys can think what you want, I, 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 as, as my knowledge, I am still a virgin today, um, but after this story, I, I really have no clue, so here's what happened, um, it was about, I'd say 6-7 months into our relationship, and I went over to her house one day, and she gave me this drink, and I think it was just regular Sprite, or Kool-Aid, or, I don't know, it was something, but I remember feeling really tired, really woozy, I don't know if she drugged the drink, I don't think she did, but, um, we went on a walk, as we always did, we got to the tree, stopped at the tree, talked for a little while, started making out, did whatever we did, and, uh, after that, I don't remember what happened, and here's the funny thing, it was about, mm, I'd say, uh, 11.30 a.m. when we started our walk, and I woke up by myself under the tree at about 5.30 p.m., so we're talking like a solid six hours under the tree that I was knocked out cold, and I got a good night's sleep the night before, so I don't know what was in that drink, but it was probably something funny, and uh, that's not the funniest part of the story. So I woke up, and there was no one around. She was gone. I had no idea what had happened, and I looked down, and uh, I had no shirt on, and my pants were unzipped. So, what happened? I don't know. I could never get it out of her. I texted her about it, because I was kind of pissed. I was like, uh, really? You're going to do that to take advantage of me or get something? I'm like, you know, if you want the D that bad, you know, I'm not, like, not willing to give it to you, you know? But uh, I don't know what happened. I, I really don't. It's kind of a funny story. I still, to this day... She now hates my guts with a passion because I broke up with her and she basically went into withdrawal and had no other thing to do than her parents got divorced and uh I feel bad for her. She was a nice girl. She really was. She had a couple pro she had a little bit of uh, problems, but her parents were psychotic. That was the whole problem. But um basically that's the story. It was pretty funny. I still to this day have no idea what happened. If you guys want to leave a comment just guessing what happened, and I'm with you when it says guess because I have no idea what happened. <laughs> but that was a pretty funny story. If it did entertain you, um, come check out my channel. My channel name is The Marathon YT. You can call me by The Marathon. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video is kind of what I like to do on my channel. High scoring Call of Duty gameplays and good commentaries, funny stories. So again, if you enjoyed, come check me out. Thanks again, Max, for letting me upload. My name is The Marathon, and I will hopefully talk to all of you guys on my channel. If you come over and check me out and subscribe, leave a comment on my video saying that Maximum Skill or Max sent me. That would be pretty cool to see. It would mean a lot to me. That rhymed. I'm not a rapper. I'm going to stop talking because I'm going to keep going on and on. My name is The Marathon. I will talk to you guys later. See ya.